die in your car. Just need water. I was with manifesting it. What? Just roll it. No, I just roll it. Out. Oh, that's 65k. That's heavy. It's hollow. Got it. Oh, 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 take away to the line, to the line, to the line, come, 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 oh, darn it. Oh, Jesus, oh. that sounds heavy. Oh. Try, try and feel it, like, feel that. Who made you leave? Uh, a Welsh. A uh, guy from Wales, uh, Nathan, I think his name is. I'll tag him in the below. Episode one. Let's go! Obviously, Tom, dumbbells aren't in Arnold's. Is there a particular reason you're training them? Well, it's my weakest event, so I keep training it every week and it'll just start getting it like clockwork work. So, yeah, we got some new dumbbells here. And uh, they're going to be in an event after Arnold's, I'm guaranteed. So, maybe the rogue are sitting. So, yeah, got some new dumbbells that look like the rogues, so it'll be good. Hey! How are you feeling, boy? Very good. Um, How's the new dumbbells feeling? These are probably some of the hardest ones because they don't have a thing you can rest on. It's just a proper circle, so... No, they feel right full. Um, 104 kg next. Let's see what this is made of. Because, geez, oh... It's the best of the big boss. Steel boys. Let's see what happens. I mean, I'll get it. I said it at the first time, it's just a bit of fatigue. I might wait another five minutes and try it, but see what happens. See so you going again? I'll wait. Come on, Tom. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Up! At the shoulder there, felt better like on my shoulders. I see it. 
when you're not that it's balanced, jeez. I feel better? Yeah. Well, I, had it, I knew I had it after the first one. Like we used to do it the first attempt, I used, if I did that I wouldn't get it, but after the first one I held it there for like three seconds, so it was just to get that out of my head, but I'm happy that I got under the 4kg. I don't think I've ever pressed that and tried maybe once or something, so it's good, so yeah. let's see, frame carry next, so are we moving on this week with it or just pick up again? Yeah, so we're going to do some, uh, um, what do you call it? Run, sorry, run with the frame. Uh, not too heavy, not too light, just a moderate weight that will get us working and get our footwork kind of go fast and faster, sorry. So, yeah, let's do it. What's the weight now? I think we're up to 260 odd. 270 kilos, I think. Not hugely heavy, but heavy enough for us. Just getting the grip back, back to where it should be. So we're getting there. And we're not dropping it, we're trying to do a turn. Because with the, the ramp at Arnold's, it's going to change your wrist position as well when you're running with it. So maybe if we do a turn with it, it'll activate different parts of our wrists, hopefully, I don't know, we can try it, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but we're trying, science, looking Tom Einstein. <laughs> Activate. Wrists activated. They were activated last night. All right. Stop it. Get some help. So we're going to do the wheel of pain. So uh, set the yoke up. So we're going to push it, turn it around, and come back with it. Do that for a few sets. I think we'll do four twenties each side this week. Just kind of gradually build it up. So exciting. It's a horrible one, the wheel of pain, but. All we can do is train for it, which is what we're doing right now. Yeah, it's, it's just um, just when the concrete was laid, a little bit to rebar, just a couple of mil, but it just got caught up. Come on, Tom. Come on. Come 
Mal drauf. Come on. Hold the line. One thing that we noticed is during the wheel of pain, there's like no momentum. Um, so as soon as you stop, it stops. And it's very similar to this because all the weight's at the back. As soon as you stop pushing, the yoke will stop moving as well. I know it sounds very whatever, but the thing with doing the pickup, because it's on wheels, it builds up the momentum and it'll keep going slightly. So, um, yeah, this is, we're going to do a combination of both, like we said, but it's nice getting up this weight, an extra, an extra 20 kilo plate on each side. Makes a big difference, so I get one more set and then that'll be us. Where did you learn this wheel of pain training? Have you done this before? Is this how you used to train it? Um, or you just came up with it? Uh, no, I just... I'm sure I must have seen it. I'm not smart enough to make up my own training stuff, so I must have seen someone doing it. Um, but it's just, with the weather up here, um, with the weather anywhere at Christmas time, winter time, um, it's not the best. We're very fortunate to have a dry warehouse that we can train in, so we just set up the yoke, Tom and I set it up, and it felt good when we did it last week, and I think it's something that we'll keep going. Probably add another plate on as well. Um, you know, as we progress, we'll increase the weights and just keep bringing on that pain because we are going to be doing the wheel of pain, so we need to be in pain. Go, 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 go! Over the line, come on! Oh, there. Come on, Tom. Go, Tom, come on. Come on. Good push. Come on, Tom. Go, 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 go. Come on. Over the line, come on. We're just going to go back to the gym now um, and practice some uh, of the stone throws. So it's all astroturf and soft ground, so we can throw stones here and it won't do any damage to the stones, any damage to the floor. So if we were to do it in here, it's all concrete and the stones might break. So we'll go back, do a few sets with that, see how it goes. So we'll see you back at the gym. Yeah, we should be happy. What are the events for Arnold's this year? This is no order because I can't remember the order, but it's Wheel of Pain. Everybody knows what that is. Max deadlift like always. Uh, reps with the logs, so it's 180 and a 200 log, as you've seen them many times before. Uh, stone throw, it's a new one. Um, frame carry up that we ramp. Have I missed any? Five. That's it. Five events. And um, how are you guys feeling about the events? Yeah, good. I mean, uh, these are quite strong events for both of us. There's no squat this year, there's no dumbbell. So, uh, yeah, log is going to be quite good. The stone floor is going to be very interesting. That'll be very fun. And then uh, Della seems to be going good. So, yeah, everything's going to be... Explain the stone throw a little bit. This is going to be a natural stone that you throw above your head. How would you allowed to throw it? How, run, how much of a run-up you allowed? All depends on Arnold, we've not seen, seen the rules yet, but all we know is a stone throw. They gave us a clip of what it looks like and yeah, that was it. So it's above your head, 90 kilograms I think, and you just throw it as far as you can. Ooh, 
same spot. Yeah, that's done. Right, right, right. Come on. Right, you should try it like that. Oh, you can't see it properly. Oh. Roughly at the same bit. Light headed. <laughs> Why do people practicing just now just over in chest, is it? Just finding that what I think the best one will probably be above your head. I don't know, but and well the stone is for well, the stone's wider you can you know just think obviously over your head is because you've got levers. You know, you're throwing from here and someone throws from here, they've already got a meter on your side. So. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, furthest one yet, Tom, come on. Where that sand thing is. Alright. Close. Oh. First week of Arnold training done, very good session, uh, we hit everything we wanted to, dumbbell was good as well so it was nice to get the dumbbells a go, giving the dumbbells a go sorry, and then we did some uh, stone throws, we just kind of had a few uh, throws just to see how it felt and it's our first time doing it with the stone as well so it's nice and wet here so it was a bit slippy but it was all good so yeah, one week one done and it's been good, happy, we'll see you for the next one. Bye guys. <laughs> Hello everybody, I hope you guys are having a great Christmas day. I hope your bellies are full and you've been on the drink and getting drunk <laughs> and uh, enjoying and spending loads of time with your family and I hope Santa was good to you guys. Yeah, as Tom says, a special Merry Christmas from all of us up here at the Stolp and Brothers HQ. We're super excited for 2023. So as a special surprise, one of our favourite Christmas carols growing up was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So. Please forgive us, we hope we haven't tarnished it too much or ripped it apart, but we thought we'd do a little rendition of it. So here it is now, our take on Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Enjoy. Merry Christmas. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen, but do you recall the most famous reindeer of them all? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it close Like a light bulb All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say Ho ho ho! Rudolph, with your nose so bright won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeers loved him As they shouted out with glee Right off the red-nosed reindeer You'll go down in history Then one foggy Christmas Eve Santa came to say Ho ho ho! Rudolph, with your nose so bright Won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeers loved him As they shouted out with glee Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, you'll go down in history! Guys, so today I'm going to walk you through the log press. Hey guys, this is week one of the At The Stone tutorial by Tom Stoneman. Right guys, today's tutorial is 